what's going on gang <clears throat> welcome back to the channel so if you've been following my social medias you already know the sc is actually starting running and we actually uh are going to be doing the street tune on it within like the next two or three days um pretty much just waiting for a a, a warmer day <laughs> And I actually have to go and get the tires put on today and wiring like another sensor or two. So I'll be doing that today. Guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, thanks everybody who's, who's subscribing. Thanks everybody who stuck around with the video with me blowing my engines up, putting my engines back together. We're gonna get some street time, some some actual driver, driving videos going and still some of the, I guess you would call it how-to videos. I just keep pulling this camera out with you guys. We about to start dropping the videos rapidly like rapid fire once again how i was doing like a two weeks ago i was dropping videos like every week i tried to keep up with it but like i said i kind of fell off just because i it was just too much stuff to do and i had a deadline i had to make it to but as always welcome back to the channel and look at my crusty gs look at this thing it's looking horrible and we got the manual transmission for this baby now guys let's get it all right bro so still working on it still i'm about to run the wire harness now for the fans but so this is the actual abs delete i got on the sc300 right so you can actually adjust this joint for drifting like more braking power in the back and the front so what happened was remember all the brakes locked up so you know uh, so you know the rod right the actual rod which is right there that actuates on the master cylinder. So, you know, when you press the pedal, the rod goes in, it's supposed to come all the way out. What happened was the rod was going in, but it kept stopping like right there. Like it wasn't coming completely out. So as we was turning and I was driving, it's pretty much like I was pumping the brakes and eventually they just, like, remember they just locked up. So if you ever mess with that chase base kit or or a customer comes through with that type of problem, um, make sure you get the throw right on the pedal. But when you bleed them, you gotta put all the pressure, you gotta tear this all the way twisted in, bleed the back brakes, open both sides at the same time, bleed the back brakes, close them, come up to the front, twist this all the way completely out till it can't twist no more. And then you do the passenger side and then the driver's side. So right now the brakes are working um i'm gonna come back out here probably sometime tomorrow and drive it around the block a couple times to um make sure the wheels don't lock up before we try to tune and everything on sunday but so far so good all right so touch driving and actually making sure the brakes work and they didn't lock up yet and they are actually stopping um i ordered like uh, those EBC, those performance pads, because they recommended it, and I kind of see why. Uh, like with this ABS Elite, um, I do got to give it a little bit more foot power to get it to stop, but it's not, it's not too bad. And as you see, the tablet reading perfect. So just go around the block a couple times, make sure everything good for tomorrow. Um, so like I said, we tried to do it on Team Viewer for some weird reason. Team Viewer just wasn't cutting it. So we went ahead and did uh, any deaths. So I'm just waiting for him to do his thing and we can go ahead, get a couple pulls. I'm not gonna do anything too major, too serious, cause we still pretty much dialing it in. All right, so right now he's adjusting everything, going through the tables. Uh, this is the remote team process. I had a call on, it was off at first, I was tripping. Cut this off to preserve my battery. Probably gotta put the battery in the battery box just in case. <clears throat>
if you made it this far in the video, just say it, it was fun by it lasted. Something went wrong in there. So, it's done. All right, guys. Um, so, <laughs> uh, this is a bad turn of events. I mean, I don't even know what else to say about that. Um, so, as you've seen, uh, everything was going well on the street team. Um, car ran flawlessly. Uh, this is just one of those things where it's like, this is just like, I would call it, I just charge it to the game. Um, so as you've seen, the engine had, um, a ton of metal flakes. Uh, I got out there. I actually thought that I dropped the valve until I opened the valve covers and seen all the metal flakes. Um, I went ahead, took both cans out, um, uh, uh. So that way, I thought I dropped the valve. I still checked the valves to make sure everything was still seated properly, put everything back together, put some fresh oil in it. But when I pulled the drain plug out to drain the oil, like it was so much metal flakes. Uh, I actually have a magnetic drain plug so that way I can keep track of how much metal is in my pan. Um, so when I pulled the drain plug out, I noticed it was just a ton of metal shavings. I already knew what happened. Um, this actually happened like years ago on my first first ever any of the team mode i put together like years ago um so i can honestly say that <laughs> the engine's done i start i restarted that startup that i showed you guys was when i got back home i let the car cool off a little bit and started up and it's still not changed the oil cleaned everything off and it still had a knock but this knock was a little bit more up in the RPMs and I cleaned the oil. Um, it's a rod now. The rod burns wore itself out. The engine pretty much just ate itself. Uh, just ate itself. Um, uh, that's more. That's a thousand percent. Ten times out of ten because of the oil pump failed. Um, stuff like that does happen in small occasions. Um, I'm a little bit upset with myself because. Um, the oil pumps I usually run on the car I didn't run it this time just because this oil pump will get here faster. Um, as far as price, the price wasn't really different uh, as far as, I guess, shopping for it anywhere else. But that is a GE VVT at oil pump. And I usually run GTE oil pumps on all my setups just because, you know, hot horsepower, just need as much pressure I can get. So I usually run OEM GTE oil pumps on my setups. And I feel as though if I would have put a GTE or OEM oil pump on the car, this would never have happened. Um, but it's one of those, it's just, it's one of those things that just happened. Um, it's nobody's fault. As far as my tuna goes, big shout out to my tuna. Um, Brandon Jeremy, um, I'll put a link to his, uh, Instagram here. You can, uh, let him know Grizzly sent you. Um, phenomenal tuna. He helped me a, a very long way as far as showing me the pins where, why I should be at. Um, let me know, uh. Uh, how my spark plug should look as far as the burn. The burn on the spark plugs for the team was perfect. Couldn't get any better. Team act the the cars actually team. That's the worstest part about the whole situation. The cars actually team. The knocking started when the team was over and I was cruising home. Um, about like probably like 20 minutes after the team, I was cruising home. So that lets me know that the oil pump 
um, you know, went up uh, as we was tuning it. But it's one of those things I know a lot of people say, why you didn't check your oil pressure? Well, if you know when your burns and everything start rolling, you know, start uh, wearing out, um, your oil pressure really doesn't drop all the time. Like a lot of times the oil pressure will either stay the same or rise because the tolerance in between the burns will actually uh, 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 pretty much just wear out and it'll actually show a little bit more oil pressure. Um, so with that being said, that's why another reason why I was confused. I pulled over, I checked the oil, the oil level was fine. Um, I didn't see any, you know, you, a lot of times you won't see the metal flakes on a dipstick until I open it up. Um, so, I mean, it's just one of those, it is what it is. Um, best part about this, the turnaround will not take that long at all. Just because I don't have to order a bunch of parts again from Australia like I did at first. As far as the Super V World Kit uh, goes, the Super V World Kit, like I showed you, bolts up. The only problem with the Super V World Kit we had was um, the camshaft signal kept messing up for some reason at first. But like I said, the car is tuned um, and the, it's tuned at 18 PSI. We didn't want to take it any further. Um, you know, just to be on the safe side without a dyno. So like I said, once again, it was not because of the team. It was literally just one of those things that just happens, bro. And it was just my turn for, you know, my time for this type thing to happen to me. Um, like I can't fault anything. Like, I mean, this is one of those things just, you just break that down in your notes. So, you know, I mean, stuff just happens, bro. Stuff just happens. Um, So I'm gonna go ahead, get out here, take my cams out the motor. Um, get my cams looked at, make sure my cams are actually good to go um, for the next motor because we have the block secured for the next build. I have another head over here for the next build. This stuff that I'm actually going to use on this next motor was actually for my built motor I was going to build, but I got to get back up and running. So um, I keep everybody updated with that. Um, so yeah, um, and that's uh, that's about all for this video. Sorry, um, Sorry, you know, pretty much to end it off this way, but sometimes, man, I mean, when you're building project cars and building pretty much race cars and drift cars, sometimes stuff like this happens, man. So, hey, it's nobody's fault. It's just a part of the game, bro. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and chalk that up. I mean, you fall, but you got to get back up. Um, uh, in my case, I'm not a rich person. I'm not a, you know, not a big superstar, nothing like that. I'm not a rich person, so... As I go along, I try to make stuff happen as best as I can. So, yeah, so we'll get back up uh, and running. Um, until then, like always, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for keeping up with the station. Um, thanks for keeping up with the bill. And i catch you guys on the next episode. Peace out.